Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about geometric probability. Our learning goal is that you'll be able to calculate probabilities based on the area of various shapes. Okay, so what is geometric probability? Okay, well the geometric probability is the probability that a randomly selected point is in a specific region or area of the figure. Okay, as a formula, the geometric probability is the target area divided by the total area. Now, in order to make more sense of that, let's just jump into an example. Okay, so let's say Arnold is practicing archery. Since he's a novice archer, let's assume that each arrow hits the target randomly. Then, we'll calculate these probabilities. Okay, so for our first one, Let's find the probability that an arrow that hits the board hits the gold area. In other words, I'm, random, I'm finding the probability that a random point that I pick on the target is inside the gold rings. Okay, so here's our formula, target area over total area. The target, the region that I'm looking for, is the area of the gold region on the target. The total area would be the area of the entire board. So let's find those areas. The area of the gold circle would be given by pi r squared because that's the area of a circle. The diameter of the gold region is 24.4 centimeters. So that means the radius is 12.2. So if I plug that into the formula, 12 times, or pi times 12.2 squared, that would give me 467.59 square centimeters. That's the area of the gold region. Now I need to find the area of the board. The board has a diameter of 122 centimeters. So the radius is 61 centimeters. If I do pi r squared again, pi times 61 squared, I would get an area of 1,100, or what, sorry, 11,689.87 centimeters squared. Okay, now that I have my two areas, then I can just put them into the formula. The target area is our 467.59. The total area was the 11,689.87. So I'll just divide the two. The calculator tells me it's 0 0.04. I used all the decimal places, by the way. In other words, that's 4%. So the probability of him hitting the gold area, if he's, ran if he's randomly hitting a location on the target, is 4%. Notice that there's no units, because centimeters squared and centimeters squared cancel. That means that there are no units for the probability. Okay, so let's try another one just to help you guys get it. Let's find the probability that an arrow hits the white area. Okay, our formula is still the same, target area over total area. And the board is still the same. It still has an area of around 11,689. What's changed? The target area has changed. Instead of being the gold circle, we want to find the white region. That's our target area. So I need the area of that white ring. The radius of the outer circle of the white region is still 61 centimeters, just like the whole board. The, the radius, what's the radius of the inside? The inside circle is half of the diameter 97.6. So that would be 48.8 centimeters. So how would I find the region of the white ring? Basically, it's a circle minus a circle. So the white area would be the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle. Think finding the area of a shaded region just like we did earlier in the unit. The outer circle would have an area of pi times 61 squared, and the inner circle would be pi times 48.8 squared. 
So that outer circle is 11,689. Oh yeah, that's the whole board, duh. Then the inner circle has an area of 7,481. So subtracting the two, the area of the white ring would be 4,208.35. Okay, I found my target area. That's the area of the white. So I'll plug that in. The target area is 4,208. And the total area is the area of the board. That's 11,689.87. Dividing the two, I get 0.36. So there's a 36% chance that his arrow will hit the white ring. Okay, now that we've done two examples, do you think you could do one on your own? You try to find the, area, the probability that an arrow hits the blue area. Pause the video, try to do it on your own, and then you can check with what I get. Okay, let's see how you did. The board, again, is still the same. It has the same area as before. Now we're looking for the target area that's the blue ring. I'll need the two radii for the outer and inner circle. The radius of the outside circle is 36.6 because it's half of the diameter, 73.2. The inside circle has a radius that is half of 48.2, which is 24.1. Okay, so The blue area would be, again, the area of the outer circle minus the area of the inner circle, which would be pi times 36.6 squared minus pi times 24.1 squared. This time I'll just type all of it in my calculator at once, and I get 2383.68. Okay, that's the area of the blue ring. So that's my target area, and my total area is still 11689. Dividing the two, that gives me 0.204, I rounded, or 20.4% that he hits the blue ring. Did you get it? Let's make one final observation. I want to point out one more thing. Let's find the probability that two consecutive arrows hit the board in the blue area. That is, two, area, two arrows that he shoots one after the other, and they both hit the blue. So our probability of just hitting the blue once was 0.204. Now, in order to find the probability for two consecutive arrows hitting the board, you need to know that the probabilities for consecutive independent events are multiplied. Okay? That's a basic probability fact you probably learned in middle school. You just may or may not remember it. So if I want to find the probability of two blues... I would multiply 0.204 times itself. That gives me 0.042, or 4.2%. Notice that the probability went down. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. It's harder to hit the blue area twice, or it's harder to hit the blue area twice than it is to hit it once. So the probability should be less. Okay, so... That about wraps up probability. Be safe as you're shooting those arrows, okay? I'll see you guys in class.